Hey everybody, Mr. Program here back with another video and today we are here with some Rainbow Six Siege and today I am starting a new series called Operator Review on Rainbow Six Siege and basically in this series I am going to be showcasing all the new operators that come out and telling you guys a rating of them like showcasing their weapons, their gadget number one, their gadget number two, their, their, like, their ability slash other gadget um, and um, basically in the end giving them a would recommend or a will not recommend because it is a hard decision because each operator costs 25,000 right now which is quite a bit of renown and you don't want to just waste all your renown on something you're not going to like so this is why I'm making this. In today's episode we are locate we are showcasing, I apologize for that, we are showcasing Blackbeard, uh, he's part of the Navy SEALs CTU in Rainbow Six Siege and he was released uh, a month ago along with the, with um, another operator which is the defending operator called Valkyrie but we'll take a look at her in the next video. Um, and so yeah, like I said, we're going to be looking at all their weapons and stuff like that. And um, we're going to start off with weapons, that's the first category. And um, we're going to see what we can do. Hopefully we can, um, hopefully like you guys will be like, will want to buy these. But like I said, at the, end of, like, at the end of the day, it's just my opinion. So you guys don't have to follow my opinion because it is just my opinion. So you don't have to follow it. Um, so let's start off with his weapons. Uh, the first of the two primaries, because he has two primaries to choose from and one secondary. Um, the first one is the Scar H. The Scar H does a damage of 52. The fire rate is 585. The mobility is 40. And the capacity in each mag of how many bolts it can hold is 20. Um, so, yeah. Um, this, so I apologize if I talk a little bit in advance, because this is pre-recorded gameplay. So yeah, um, so that's the Scar Rage. So here's some gameplay of the Scar Rage. This is how it looks. Um, it is. It's a pretty, pretty good weapon. I really do like this his weapon. Um, uh, he has, like I said, two choices, and this is probably my favorite out of the two of them. But I will mention the next one in in a second. Um, what I would recommend you do to this gun when you when you apply it is put holographic sight, grip, and compensator. When I first got this thing, I did not expect it to have as much recoil as it did. With, with like, with the shield on, it does extra recoil. Without the shield on, it still does quite a bit of recoil. So it's it's really recoily, I guess you want to call it. Um, and uh, I definitely put a grip and a compensator on there just to help reduce that uh, kick a little bit. And uh, the holographic is just a good sight. It doesn't cover up too much of your screen. That's why I would recommend that. So that was his car age. I'd give his Scar H a would recommend definitely try it, but I recommend you guys try both One of his weapons remaining. because both of Blackbeard's weapons are absolutely amazing, and um, I definitely recommend you use both of them. Like I said, and um, try them out, see what you guys think. I love his new weapons. So that was the Scar H. Like I said, I said I would recommend to try them, but you should definitely try out both. The next weapon is the SR-25. The damage on this thing is, which is the SR-25 before I say anything, is a uh, DMR. And the Scar H was an assault rifle. So, yeah. Um, the first, so the damage is 75. The fire rate is basically as fast as you can pull the trigger because it is a DMR. The, um, the, uh, Second. The, um, what's this called? The, uh, the mobility is 38 and the capacity is 20, just like the Scar H. Uh, and, um, yeah. Uh, I'm just trying, I'm trying not to uh, talk too far ahead of the gameplay, so I just let that happen just be before, so I didn't see I died right there, but, um, anyway, um, the, uh, so like I said, the, that's the stats of the SR-25, aka the MK-11, and, um, this thing is pretty powerful um the damage is really high uh like i said the fire rate is as fast as you can pull the trigger you just click the button but you wouldn't want to like spray the thing i'd recommend to do two shots at a time it takes like three two to three shots to kill someone with this thing so you could just shoot two times and then shoot just once again and then you've got the kill um i love his gun i tried out both of his guns for at least five hours and they were really good like six hours i did three hours with each one and i'm still 
using it to this as, as I'm recording this. Um, it's really, really good. I like the damage on it. That's really the main reason I like it. Um, what you're going to want to put on this thing is um, ACOG because it, it, you're going to want to use this to medium to long range. Um, you're not really going to use this for close range. But if you do use it for close range, this thing has like the best like the best hip fire I've ever seen on a gun. The hip fire is really good on this thing, almost as good as a shotgun. Um, it's, it's very good, I like it. And um, like I said, you know, but either way, if it does have good um, hip fire, you wanna stay at medium to long range. But if you do find yourself encountering some long range, then just hit fire. I mean, sorry, if you find yourself encountering some close range, then just hit fire because it's really good. Um, so yeah, that's the SR25. I would recommend, like I said, yes, you use it. I, like I said, I just recommend you use both of their guns. Uh, and um, yeah, so that was the SR25. Moving on to a secondary, or his prime, or his secondary, yeah, is the Desert Eagle 44. The damage on this thing is 60. The um, damage, yeah, like the damage on this thing is 60. The uh, fire rate is as fast as you can press the trigger. The mobility is 50 and the capacity is 7. You're not going to really want to spray this thing because it has a quite a bit of recoil. I just put nothing on it, just leave it how it is, but it does have quite a bit of recoil. If you could put a composite on it, I'd definitely put it on there, but that's not an option you can do. Um, yeah, that's basically, that's basically it. Um, it doesn't really have much to show. It's a really good gun, but just don't shoot it. Do the same thing as you did with the SR25. Just double fire it just two times, go bang, bang, and then it takes like three to four shots just to kill someone, so it's not that hard. You just do a tune, tune, and then tune, tune, like two times. I don't know why I said to do, but um, that's pretty much it for his weapons. So solid. I would say re red recommend, yes, try out all of his weapons, and I'll just rate them, I guess, on a 1 to 10, and I would give his weapons a probably a, maybe, a, I'd probably give it like, I didn't see I died there, I don't know why I keep mentioning that I'm dying, you can see the gameplay, I'm just um, commentating it, but um, basically, yeah, like, I'd give it a 9 out of 10 for his weapons, they're really good, and I definitely recommend you try them out. Now we're gonna move on to his gadgets. The gadgets he has to choose from are the breaching charge and the uh, stun grenade. I'd recommend you use the uh, stun grenades because the I'm, I'm using the breaching charge in this gameplay, but the stun grenades are pretty good. You can just flash them, go in. Um, if you're using the DMR, I would recommend to use the breach charge, but if you're using the scar age, he's the you should use the um, uh, what's it called? You should use the uh, a breaching charge. If you're, uh, if you're using the DMR, use the uh, breaching charge. If you're using the Scar H, use the um, stun grenades because you could just stun the room, go in there, and then just get a nice little headshot or just kill in general. Um, um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for his gadgets. Like I said, I recommend the stun grenade, but just choose whatever you guys want. Uh, moving on to his actual gadget, what makes him special as second, just third gadget, I guess you could call it, is his special, what makes him so special is his see-through shield that he can mount on the front of his gun. This thing is absolutely insane. I I, I love it. When, like, what I would recommend is you run to the objective, because you do run slower when you have the shield on and than if you didn't have it on, and we you have more bomb. kick on the, on the guns if you have... Uh, the shield on, so that's kind of a downfall. But, other, but it really does protect you. It makes them not able to headshot you, so they can only shoot for like your your, like, your, your stomach or chest area, which is pretty much a, a good advantage because you could, that's plenty enough time for you. Because they're not going to expect you to have a shield on, so that's plenty enough time to for you just aim for the head and then you get a nice little headshot. Um, so yeah, it's see through. You can't you can't like. Um, like not see when you have it, like it's see through, but it takes an entire mag to destroy this thing, so it's pretty powerful actually. Um, it takes a lot of times, it takes, I mean, it takes a lot of shots to destroy this thing, which when I counter, when, like, when I, uh, I'm in, 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 when I count, when I'm in a firefight with Blackbeard, is what I'm trying to say, I apologize. When I'm in a firefight with, uh, Blackbeard, I usually always die because I don't expect him to have the shield on. I don't expect him to, um, so I just try and aim for the head and usually I get headshots a lot, so I'm used to aiming for the head. 
But this time, since he has a shield on, I can't shoot to the head, and then he gets enough time to headshot me, and then I die, and then it's just not a happy time for anyone. Um, so his his shield is very good. I I mean, I, if if we were to rate it on a one to ten, I'd give it probably like a, a ten. I'd give it a nine out of ten. I definitely like it. It's really good. The reason I want to give it a ten out of ten though is because it takes a lot of shots to destroy the shield. Um, I think this should reduce the amount of how many bolts it takes to destroy the shield, but that's just my opinion. So that has been it for this episode of um, Operator Review. In the next episode, we are going to be covering Valkyrie, the defending operator for the uh, Navy SEAL CTU. Um, um, she's part of the uh, Dustin DSC as well. So we're going to be covering her in the next episode, so stay tuned. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe. If you're new to the channel, I really appreciate it. And until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.